Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another I tried following like whoever's makeup tutorial. So today I'm doing I tried following an Adeline Morin makeup tutorial. So I'm going to be following this tutorial right here, her all drugstore makeup tutorial. This was a um, burgundy makeup look that she did uh, a while back. This is a lot of videos back. I figured I'd try it out. This video is not going to be all drugstore. Um, I'm just going to try and use products this, like she would use because I don't have all the same products that she does. So I'm just going to take what I have and try and recreate this look. In this video, she even wore her off the shoulder top, so I got that. She wore a choker, hers was black, but her shirt was also white. And she has her hair up in a bun with like hoop earrings and stuff. So we're just gonna do all that. So I'm gonna start out with my hair and we'll go on to the makeup look after that. So my hair is up in this big old bun. Um, I have a lot of hair, so my bun's usually huge. The bun was really big too, so it's okay. This is what we're going for. It also has a few long strands of hair pulled out, which is good because my hair is just long like hers. I think I think our hair is looking like that. Looking, looking decent. I used one of those bun maker things, you know, so now we can start the makeup. So, if you guys don't know who Adeline is, she's another beauty vlogger on YouTube. You should definitely go check her out if you haven't already. I will have her channel linked down below and like this video linked. So, we're gonna get started. Her intros are so great. Like, look. Like, her editing is amazing. Adeline started out with some primer. So we're going to start out with that too. I used one from Maybelline, but I'm going to be using my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And yeah, I'm applying that all over my face. She's applying a NYX foundation, but again, I'm going to use a different one. But I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation, and I'm going to apply that with my Beauty Blender. She's pretty funny, and I don't know, she just seems like a very genuine person. And her makeup skills are from eight. She's applying some lip balm. So I'm going to do that too. So now she is using a stick concealer. So I'm going to be using this one from Revlon and concealing my face. Okay, so we're all concealed, so I'm gonna continue watching. I think she's gonna do her her eyebrows at some point in this video, but I usually do mine like now, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll follow. <laughs> For brows, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse in I'm in the shade Medium Brown. This is one of my favorite brow products. <laughs> Just using her favorite NYC bronzer, so I'm gonna use my favorite Hula bronzer from Benefit and I'm going to contour up my face. Okay, and then she even goes in and contours her nose. I'm gonna contour my nose too. So the next thing that I did was applied highlight. And I used this one from Lorac in the shade Moonlight and the NYX Born to Glow. And I used this pink shade and this other pink shade down here. And it like wasn't recording, so that's what happened. But uh, I just applied like a ton of highlighter to my cheekbones, my nose, under my eyebrows, and on my cupid's bow. 
out, she just used some loose powder to set underneath her eyes using this loose powder from Tarte. Using, she said that in her like original like look that she created for this, she used a Smashbox palette for that burgundy color, but I don't have that palette. And then like the drugstore palettes, she recommended from, from Elf and stuff. The only burgundy color that I have is from the Kylie Cosmetics Burgundy palette. So use this one from NYX in the shade Pinched and apply that underneath my highlight and that one kind of puts her blush like everywhere which is kind of good it makes you look a little bit awake so it's kind of nice okay so she's using a more orangey color which is perfect because this Kylie Cosmetics burgundy palette I feel like I'm always going back to this palette but it has that color similar to it so I'm going to use this color right here that is in the shade Penny. Just apply that as my crease color. You have to improvise because there's no mirror, so you're taking the mirror that you have. And then she's also applying that same color underneath her eyes. She's just applying the burgundy color, so that's going to be this color right here. And just apply that all over your lips. drags her eyeshadow out like that a little bit more rather than keeping it mainly on your lids. Now she's applying that underneath her eyes as well. Something that I love about this makeup look is that it's so quick. Like the eye look is so quick. It is inner corner highlight and we gotta get like super super sparkly inner corner highlight because Island's inner corners are so sparkly and bright. What I'm gonna do is go back in to this Lorac highlighter that I was using for my cheekbones earlier and apply that as inner corner. She applies some black liner to her waterline and her tight line, so I'm going to do that too. Using the Tarte Maneater Eyeliner for this. I'm going to be applying my Ardell Demi Wispies. Okay, so next she used some gold glitter liner for her inner corners. So I'm using this one from Tarte. She used one from, I think it was Urban Decay. Um, and I'm just going to use the glittery side. And this is in the shade White Gold. She used a liquid lipstick from ColourPop, so I'm going to use a liquid lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. And this one is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Harmony, because she tried to get one that kind of matched the eyes, and I don't know, I feel like this kind of matches. So it's a little bit more red. This is the finished look. I really like the way that this turned out. Oh, it's not done yet. Now we need to add the hoops because I don't got some hoops in. I'm gonna go put on some hoop earrings and then we'll be done with this look. Okay, so this is the finished look. I think it looks pretty similar to Adeline's, especially with the hair done, earrings and necklace and all the accessories is done. I think it looks pretty much like hers. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if you did, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell button to turn on my post notifications so you're notified when I upload every single new video. And go be sure to check out Adeline's tutorial and channel, and you can go check out my last video. And you can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. That will be linked down in the description below, along with all the products that I used. And if you guys could maybe like have Adeline see this, that would be amazing. But I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!